Hello everyone, thanks for tuning on to my channel. Today we are discussing the X-Air 18 from Behringer's X-Air series. We're learning how to set it up, get it on a rack, and get in-ear monitors set up as well, all in a cost-effective and efficient way, keeping the cost low but the quality high. Let's get started. The X-Air series from Behringer is super cool and versatile. All you have to do, plug it in, turn it on, receive a Wi-Fi connection from either your iPad or PC, and on the app, start controlling your mixes. It's really basic, really easy. There's several YouTube tutorials already out there explaining how to do that. On this tutorial, I will be discussing things that a lot of YouTube tutorials leave out, which is how to set it up on a rack and get the in-ear monitors set up in a cost-effective way. The X-Air 18, this puppy right here, Usually you can find this brand new on Sweetwater for about 550 around there. I found it used on Reverb.com for quite a bit less. This has 18 channels and 6 auxiliary outputs, which means you could have 6 monitor setups or 6 in-ear monitor setups on this little baby. So today we're going to discuss how to mount this on a rack and how to get in-ear monitors set up and ready to go for when you hit the road or do a gig at your church or whatever you need to do. It's not too hard to connect the Behringer XR18 to a rack. All you have to do is buy these XR18 rack ears that will be screwing on to the side and I'll be explaining that. Sweetwater has each of these for about $10 each. So for under $20 you can get brackets to hook up the XR18. Stage racks vary from different price ranges, but I found a really good one, and it's easy to assemble. It was only $38.95 with everything. All right, this is the tabletop rack stand for Sweetwater. You have to assemble it. Now to talk about the in-ear monitor setup to connect to your XR18. It's simple and cost effective. It's the Behringer PowerPlay HA8000. It has eight channels and it's just a power amplifier for in-ear monitors. The HA8000 from Behringer I got for only $150. Eight channel high power headphones mixing and distribution amplifier. Here it is right here. And I'll be explaining how to set that up. Mono and stereo switch. You will need some cables for this setup. You'll need to purchase XLR to quarter inch TRS to go from the XR18 mixing console to the HA8000 in-ear monitoring box. And then you will need also to get some headphone adapter cables, 3.5 millimeter TRS to one quarter inch TRS, and that way you can plug in your in-ear monitors straight into it. The wired systems are cheaper, more cost effective, and keep their quality more than these cheap wireless systems. Now, wireless is a really good route, but getting a really good one can cost lots and lots and lots of money. So the XLR to a quarter inch adapter cables only cost under $50 for eight channels. It's simply just eight wires that are all connected together to go from an XLR output from your XR18 right into the quarter inch TRS into your HA8000. 
It's pretty basic, under $50, really great deal. So to get from the HA8000 Behringer PowerPlay box to connect to your earphones, you simply need an adapter to go from the quarter inch TRS to the 3.5 millimeter TRS. The price for this thing is only like $8.35 from Sweetwater for one. So if you need a five band, you know, you're, you're, you're talking, you know, 40 for five dollars for that. This is a 25 foot headphone adapter cable, 3.5 millimeter TRS to a quarter inch TRS. This works amazing. So how this goes down, let's explain it from the top again. XR18, the output or auxiliary or send, whatever you want to call it, it's the output. The XR18 have six of them besides the mains. You simply go from XLR output on the XR18 right into the HA8000 power play from Behringer into the inputs on that. And then out of the HA8000 comes the quarter inch to 3.5 millimeter. Thanks for watching and that's how you connect the XR18 to a stage rack and get in-ear monitors in a cost-effective way, keeping the quality high into standard. And I hope you guys get that thing plugged up and on the road and get cranking out some good music. This is Emmett. God bless.